in continuation of the performance measurement we have other measures like discounted cash flow based measures expectation based measures and economic profit based measures the first is the economic profit based measures there is a little difference between accounting profit and economic profit to determine economic profit we deduct the cost of equity capital from the accounting profit and the resulting figure is the economic profit and in economic profit based measures we have another measure that is economic value added or we may call it as eva or eva eva is the spread between return on invested capital and the firm's weighted average cost of capital when this spread is multiplied by the invested capital then the absolute value is known as economic value added this measure had been invented by stern stewart eva as a performance measure boost investors behavior in terms of investment of their capital in the assets of the firm there is a general understanding that if return on invested capital is greater than the vac then there would be a positive economic profit and this will this will this would lead towards higher economic value added but empirical literature does not show any such evidence in eva literature we see no higher correlation of economic value added or eva eva growth with the total shareholders return a drawback with eva is that it does not consider market expectations the reason is that eva is primarily based on some accounting data that is backed by historical data the next measure is the expectations based measure it is thought that value is created when the firm's management performance exceeded the expected performance expectations based performance measures are regarded as best short term performance measures because for a shorter period of time actual performance of the management can be checked against the expected performance determined in preset order by the shareholders of the firm empirical literature shows that there is a higher correlation between expected based performance measures and the total shareholders return to determine expected based profit we need to deduct expected profit from the actual profit now if we expand this equation we see that we can have three different sub measures in the sport of this expectation based measure the first is the revenue the second is the cost and the third is the invested capital now we can say that to determine expected expectations based measures we need to have three value drivers namely return on invested capital vac and the invested capital now how value creation can be there when we have higher return on invested capital to have higher return on invested capital our actual expected profit or actual earnings should be greater than the expected earnings value creation is possible in second order through reduced 
cost of capital to have a reduced cost of capital we need to have actual cost of capital lesser than the expected cost of capital and finally we can create value through investment of some additional capital and that is possible when given the earning spread we have invested an additional amount in the business assets than the expected capital the last in the row of performance measures is the discounted cash flow based performance measures earlier measures which we have seen they have a shortcoming that they provide only one period view but discounted cash flow based measures are multi period measures they give multi period aspects of the performance of the firm in that sense we have multi period data so we can determine multi period performance using this dcf based performance measures in these measures expected cash flows provide better management performance with reference to operating cash flows with reference to pre cash flows with reference to other related cash flows like investing cash flows or some others these discounted cash flow measures can also be used to determine one period performance in short discounted cash flow based performance measures when used in the context of short period performance measures their usage yields better performance criteria in order to determine the performance of the corporate management